want to start.
Good afternoon. And welcome to St. Michael the Archangel Parish. Today we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time and one of Father Zachary Coulter's last masses with us. Also, we are happy to be part of a very special celebration taking place during this mass as three children of our parish will celebrate Eucharist for the first time. We share in their joy and the joy of their families as we offer them our congratulations and our prayers. There are worship aids at the end of your row and online. Please stand and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good evening, everyone. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to the call of sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, 
loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promise, which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. 
the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord Jesus, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, send her away for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. So I've been a priest now for three years, and I've noticed that in that time I do have a, even more than a style of preaching, I have, a, I have things that I like to preach about that I like to preach about, that I like to talk about. And one of the things I've noticed that I often like to do is have a challenge at the end of the homily, to leave something with something to do. That idea of like, okay, there's one, okay, now we've heard the word, we've participated in the mass, now let's go out into the world and do something. I, li I like that. So what I thought I would do for my last weekend here is give one last challenge. One last go do something. And the nice part is, in all of these ones, there's no way of checking up. So it's not like it's, I'm not going to be knocking or calling or asking how you do. So it's on you guys, it's between you and God. But here's my last challenge, and it's going to be probably the most vague challenge I've ever given. Do something more. That's the challenge. That's the last words I'm going to give you. Do something more. So on the drive home today, you're by yourself. You can do it by yourself. If you're with your family, talk about it with your family. And I just want you to ask, what could we do more in our faith? Could we pray more? Could we give more? Our time, our talent, our treasure. Could we study more? Is there something about the faith I don't understand and I could go and learn more about it? What's something concrete I'm going to give you a vague challenge, but the challenge is to have come up with something concrete to do. And not just like a Lenten sacrifice that we do for a season and then kind of are done with. Something concrete that you can do going forward. To incorporate into your spiritual life. 
to incorporate into your own personhood, who you are. Ask yourself, who do I want to be? Why do I come to Mass week after week? We don't just come to Mass because Grandma wants us to. We come because it helps us to be better people. So where am I lacking? Where could I be better? And I bet you even in this couple minutes I've asked, something's popped up into the back of your head. And it might be even that thing of like, ooh, I don't want to address that. Because if I have to address it, it's going to open up the door to other things I might have to address. And it might be difficult. And it might be hard. And I'm not sure if I can do it. Do that. There's a great G.K. Chesterton line where he said, anything worth doing is worth doing terribly. And it's true. Try and fail, and then try again. So as my last words again, do something more. Ask yourself, pray, discern. Just take the drive home and talk about where could we pray more? Where could we give more? Where could we learn more? Where can I do more? I invite our first communicants to come forward. Those who will be receiving their first Eucharist today are Evan Douglas Werner, Kerrigan McKim, and Xavier Jonathan DeGrill. Please come up to the top steps and face the congregation. That's this way, guys. Everyone wants to see how pretty you are and how handsome you guys are. So let's look out here. Dear friends, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to new life. Let us pray and join with these first communicants and renew the promises we made in baptism when we rejected Satan and all the works of Satan and promised to serve God faithfully in in the Holy Catholic Church. So I ask our first communicants, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water in the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May God also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. With hope and trust in our God and our Lord, we come before him with our needs and desires. For the church, in its diversity, may it be sustained as a house of prayer for all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may their actions and decisions promote justice, empathy, and peace for all peoples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, 
May it be strengthened with kindness, acceptance, and mercy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Zachary, as he prepares for his new parish, may his love for the word continue to live in him and those he serves, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our first communicants, may the Eucharist continue to transform them as they grow as children of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone, who feel rejected, excluded or unwanted. May they find comfort and hope and know that their dignity as members of one human family, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of our community who are sick, homebound, or living in nursing homes, may they find peace in the love and hope of the Spirit who intervenes for their suffering and their healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for those who are dying, for Tim Abernathy, father of Julia and Paul Hudson, for Rose to work, mother of Mary and Scott David, and for June Saddleman, who we remember during this Mass. May their courage and persistence and faith be rewarded with the eternal love of God in glory of heaven, we pray. Good and gracious God, we ask you to come among us and be our light so that you might illuminate for us the path you have granted us and that we might follow that path to all corners of the earth through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. 
and by ascending to you, our Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always.
Come here, Neil. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite our first communicants to come forward. Instead of a communion procession, the communion ministers will bring communion to you in the pew. We are asking all who are receiving communion to receive in the hand for now. As one community, let us pray the Anima Christi found on your worship aid. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me, that with your saints, I may be praising you forever. Amen. Peace. 
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that, conformed by his image on earth, we may merit also to be co-heirs in heaven who lives and reigns forever and ever. Help support our youth ministry program by participating in ACME's annual community cashback program. It's easy. Buy store brands at your local ACME and then drop your receipts in the designated box at the welcome desk in the upper gathering space to help our ministry earn 5% cash back on your purchase. Thank you for your continued support. Father Zachary Coulter will be out under the portico to greet everyone after Mass. Please be patient as the ushers dismiss you a little slower today to allow for social distancing. I'm going to invite our first communicants to come forward one more time. Top step, looking out at everybody. Let's congratulate our first communicants. Okay, you guys can go sit down. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Oh. Good. 